Hey guys, sorry, uh, Mountain Prepper here. Forgot about the 10 minute deal. Um, so this, I guess, is part two of the get on back. Um, anyway, I left off with the hydrogen peroxide. Um, again, it's great for cuts, disinfecting, and you can also use it as a mouthwash. And so uh, if you don't have any, I would go get some. So there's that. Um, the other thing I think is very important, and I, I really wouldn't want to be caught in a foobar situation without one of these, especially if I'm in a situation where I have to leave my truck. Um, this is a Garmin uh, um, GPS, and the cool thing about this is it's got a pedestrian setting on it, and uh, if you're somewhere that you're not really familiar with, you know, the area. You can uh, look up the nearest police station, nearest hospital, whatever you need to get to. Um, and it'll give you walking directions. So if you're in some pretty heavy foobar stuff and, you, and you've got your uh, get-home bag on your back, whip this thing out, it'll tell you the quickest way to walk where you need to get to go. So, uh, if you don't have one of these in your car, I suggest you get one because uh, it could come in really handy in a bad situation, especially if you're far away from home. Um, uh, I carry some knives in my bag. Um, got a couple cheap ones, Ozark Trail from Walmart. And I paid a dollar for these. And by the way, the Garmin. It was expensive. It was like 150 bucks, but it's worth every penny of it. I use it every day, pretty much. So I don't, I don't mind to pay that. A um, couple cheap little uh, pocket knives, folding knives. I paid a dollar a piece for these. Those are trail. I'm sorry. I think that's what they're called. Um, they're not great by any means, but they're sharp. They'll cut rope and they'll cut whatever you need to cut they'll jab a hole in anything you point them at so for a dollar I've got like ten of these bad boys so and uh, I've also got some decent knives um, I've got a Smith & Wesson um, cutting horse and with the Tonto blade and this thing is razor sharp I mean it is razor sharp and uh, this is a good knife and I think I paid five bucks for this at a flea market. So, I mean, hey, you know, there's no blade play in this thing at all. And it's a pretty solid knife. And like I said, when I bought this thing, it was razor sharp. And it still is. And uh, for five bucks, you cannot go wrong with that. So. And then the other knife I have, and this is, this knife is going to be the get me out of trouble knife <laughs> you know if I have to use this to, if I have to use a knife for defense this is what I'm going to use this is a frost cutlery which nah, you know they're not great but uh, it's stainless steel all, as all these knives are but it's a uh, green beret copy um, it's pretty pretty wicked looking knife but it's it's solid I mean, I bought it because it was really solid and it feels good in your hand. And uh, if you have to take care of business, I mean, this will take care of business. And uh, I think I paid 10 bucks for this. I actually bought these two knives off the same dude um, at the flea market. And he's got a ton of them, all different sizes and styles. And uh, he's got some pretty cool fixed blades. I'm going to go down and check him out try to get me a real good. I think he's got some K-bars. Um, and he's got some old uh, Yugoslavian and Romanian um, um, I don't know I guess they're uh, bayonet style knives whatever I don't know but they're pretty cool and uh, I'm going to go down and check some of those out see if I can get some of them cheap and then I carry a sharpener it's got the uh, carbide and the ceramic sharpening teeth on it and it's also got a thing on the back to sharpen serration 
because, you know, some of these knives are cheap and they lose their edge pretty easily. So I keep that in the back. And then last but not least, um, carry a nine millimeter, two loaded mags, and an extra box of shells. Um, I know what you're saying. Eh, it's a high point. Yes, it's a high point. Um, hey, you can say what you want. I've seen all the negative comments, and the only thing I can figure is that it's, that's coming from people that don't have one. Um, they have some problems. Yeah, you got to, uh, you know, do a little work on the magazines, you know, pinch in the, the lips on the top of the magazines. It keeps the cartridge from nosediving. That's the main problem. The other problem is the feed ramp. You, you take a Dremel tool, polish up the feed ramp, fix your magazines. You're not going to have any problems. I've, I've seen no problems with mine. Um, and for 150 bucks, the pistol, two mags, and a box of shells for 150 bucks, I'll take it. And uh, it's surprisingly accurate. I mean, you guys. It really is. I'm not going to compare it with a Glock or anything like that, but you point and click, it'll go where you want it to. It's blowback operated, and the recoil is not bad at all on it. Even with the 45, it's not too bad. Um, but, you know, for $150, they work. They get the job done. And if you don't have a lot of money, $150, bucks, you got some self-protection. And that's what's in my bag, guys. Uh, sorry, I got a little long-winded, but uh, that's my get-home bag. And I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Uh, leave comments, whatever. Please send me a message if you want to talk, whatever. But uh, thanks again, and Mountain Prepper out. And remember, Mountaineers are always free.